Hello everyone, I'm Taz. There's a trailer for a new Star Trek show about Captain Picard out. It's cleverly titled, Star Trek Picard. I was gonna do a reaction video, but I know three or four people who got copyright strikes for doing reactions. So, good boys don't get copyright strikes. So I'm just gonna talk about it. I, I'll put a link in the description if you want to watch it though. Now one of the first shots the trailer shows is that he has a dog. And that's a really good sign. Obviously the dog will be a big part of the show. What are you doing here, Picard? I'm getting drunk, obviously. I didn't expect to see Jerry Ryan as Seven of Nine in this. I'm not up on Voyager that much. Could someone let me know if Picard ever met her before this show? Not to sound like a nerd, but I got a little misty-eyed when I saw Data at the end. I'll admit, whatever they did to de-age Brent Spiner kind of went to that uncanny valley area, but it didn't really bother me too much. I guess because, you know, he's a robot. My dog ate your cat, Data. I can see that, Captain. I would watch it, but in the U.S. it's on CBS All Access. I don't think I would subscribe to a streaming service for just one show, even if it were a really good show. Maybe I'll take advantage of a free trial sometime. Outside the U.S. it's on Amazon Prime. I wish it were on Amazon Prime here because I like some free shipping. I noticed both this trailer and the earlier teaser really leaned in on him running a winery. So CBS, I'm going to let you know right now, even if I don't get to watch the show, I would definitely drink me some Star Trek wine. So have your marketing people get on that. In fact, CBS, I've come up with some slogans for Picard wine. Feel free to use them. Picard wine. Don't drink in warp drive. That's very responsible right there. Picard wine. To boldly get lit. Well, that cuts to the chase. Picard wine. Pairs nicely with weird alien food. That's good. I was wondering what pairs well with Cleon Cock. You guys want me to stop? I've got more. All right, no one said stop, so here's some more. Picard Wine. Prepare to beam up your blood alcohol content levels. Well, that's classy. Picard Wine. We shall serve no wine before its time travel paradox. Anyone get that Ernest and Julio Gala reference? I think I'm showing my age. Picard Wine. Want some booze? Make it show. And lastly... Picard wine. Party like Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. So I've heard the twist on this show is that Picard has an identical cousin named Luke John living at the winery with him. It's kind of like a Patty Duke show meets Odd Couple. Let's check it out. Luke John, what have you done? You've turned half of the Picard winery into a brewery. Jean-Luc, I need this space to brew my tuna-flavored IPA. Also, our name is pronounced Pickard. No, it's not. It's Picard. And tuna-flavored beer sounds disgusting. Who would ever buy that? Would you drink that? No, I only drink PBR. But kids today will love it ironically. You're out of touch, old man. We'll make millions. Kids today are cyborgs, you moron. Now I have to leave. Don't make any other changes in here while I'm off saving the galaxy. I don't think he'd mind if I pulled out all those old grapevines and planted some petunias. Well, that's it. Bless your little heart if you've made it this far into the video. So until next time, I'll be scooting my butt across the carpet and into your heart. I wonder if there is even one person watching this video that has ever even heard of the Patty Duke Show. By the way, this is my identical cousin, Zat.